Hello everybody. Welcome to Yoga for Self Love with Kim. I am Kim. This will be a short slow flow vinyasa practice to get our bodies moving, get our energy flowing. We'll bring in some twists, some balance, some arm balances, so a little bit of everything. So bring yourself to your mat. Find your way into child's pose at the back of your mat. Either knees, legs together, sit back on the heels and fold yourself forward, or you could take your knees wider to outer edges of your mat. Bring the big toes towards each other behind you. Hinge from your hips and fold yourself in. Forehead to the mat or make a little pillow by stacking the fists or the arms on top of each other and rest your forehead there. Give yourself a little wiggle from side to side. And then bring yourself into stillness. And begin to check in. Notice how you're feeling today, physically, mentally, energetically, emotionally. No judgment, just checking in. Notice where you're starting from today. Let everything relax, your head, your jaw, your shoulders, your back, front of the body, hips and pelvis, relax through the legs, the feet, the toes. And begin to breathe nice, deep, smooth, and steady. Inhaling in through the nose and exhaling out through the nose, or if you like, out through the mouth. Take a few sighs out through the mouth. invite you to bring in the intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with yourself as you move through this practice. And if you like, carry that intention with you off of the mat out into your day. Now from your child's pose, Begin to walk your hands, your torso over towards that right knee, thigh, reaching out through your left fingers, maybe coming up onto left finger pads, finding a nice opening through the left side of the body. Walk yourself back through center and then over to the other side, bringing the torso over that left knee, thigh, maybe rolling up onto right finger pads, finding that space through the right side of the body. And then walk yourself back to center. Now we'll thread the right arm underneath the chest, come down onto that right cheek or temple, and then maybe walk left fingers forward, come up onto left finger pads. Find some opening through that left armpit. And then we'll walk the left hand back, plant the palm, bring yourself back up, switch it to the other side. Now thread that left arm underneath the chest, come down onto the left outer arm, walk the right fingers forward, maybe roll up onto your right finger pads. And then plant that right hand, bring yourself back up to sit on your heels. And now if the knees were wide, bring the knees back in towards each other, interlace fingers, roll your wrists around, a few circles. Switch the direction of your circles. And then let's take it forward, bring the hands down, coming into a table position. Give yourself a few little rocks from side to side, rocking the hips maybe swaying your spine, finding some snaky motions. 
Anything that feels intuitive. And bring yourself to center. Now take a little peek over towards your right hip. Bring yourself back through center. Take a little peek over towards the left hip and then bring it back to center. Now let's turn the right fingers back around to face your knees. The fingers don't turn all the way back then you turn them out to the side and back. And then gently pull your bum back towards your heels. Get a little opening through the front of this right forearm, through that right wrist. And then we'll plant that right hand down, turn the fingers back around to face top of the mat, switch it over to the other side. Now turn your left fingers back and then slowly bring your bum back towards the heels a little bit. Find that opening through the front of that left forearm. And then flip it back around. Now we'll come on to backs of the hands, fingers reaching in towards each other, towards the center of the mat. You have a little bigger little bend in the elbows. Just take a few little rocks here from side to side. And bring yourself back to center, flip the palms back around. We'll come back into our table. And now root into finger pads, tuck your toes under, and then roll up on the balls of your feet. Roll yourself back up, coming into our yogi toe squat here. And then either fingers down on the mat or take your palms together at your heart. Reach up through the crown of your head, spine nice and tall. And then stay here or a little twist over to the right, spinning sternum, the heart over to the right. Bring yourself back through center, keep hugging in through the legs. And then we'll spin it over to the left. Bring yourself back to center. Hands come down to the mat and slowly walk yourself down. Knees plant back down. You come back through your table. From your table, now let's reach the right arm up towards the ceiling and then thread that right arm underneath the chest. Again, we come up onto left finger pads or if you like, you could reach that left arm up towards the ceiling, reaching up through left fingers as you press down through that outer right arm. Or maybe take that left hand around, thread it in to that right thigh, give yourself a little bind, and then release that left arm, plant that palm down to the mat, bring yourself back through your table, take it to the other side, reach that left arm up towards the ceiling and then thread the arm underneath the chest, come down on the left outer arm, press into those right finger pads and stay here or reach right arm up, maybe thread that right arm into that left thigh. And then release that right arm, plant that hand back to the mat, hands to the mat, tuck toes under, glide your hips up and back downward dog, find some movement, Pedaling out the legs or bending, straightening the knees here. And we'll roll up on the balls of feet and then press heels towards the mat. Roll up on the balls of feet, press the heels towards the mat. Now bend your knees, crouch yourself down, bring the belly back towards the thighs and then glide your hips up again into downward dog. Just crouch it down again, belly to thighs and then glide the hips up and back to your downward dog. Crouch yourself down, and this time as you send the hips up, send right leg up, also three-legged dog. Bend that right knee, bring it underneath the chest as you shift yourself forward to a core plank. And we'll hug that right knee over towards that left arm. Bring that knee back to center, send that right leg up and back, release that foot down to the mat. Now crouch yourself down again. Let's glide the left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend that left knee, bring it underneath the body, shift yourself forward, core plank, and now hug left knee over towards right arm. Bring the knee back to center, send the leg up and back, and release that foot down. Let's do it again, crouch down, right leg up, three-legged dog. This time let's bring that right knee forward to that right upper outer arm, send that right leg up and back, 
And then let's bring that knee underneath the body forward over towards the left arm. Send the right leg up and back. Bend that knee, shift it forward, knee to chest, core plank. And then we send the right leg up and back again for three-legged dog. Release that foot down to the mat. Crouch yourself down. Now send the left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend that left knee, shift yourself forward. Right knee moves towards that, I'm sorry, left knee moves towards that left upper outer arm. And then send the leg up and back again. Bend that left knee, bring it underneath the body over towards the right arm. And then the left leg moves up and back. Last one, we take it forward, knee to chest. And then send the leg up and back. Release that foot down to the mat. Walk yourself up top of the mat, bring it into forward fold. Lifting up the belly off of the thighs and then hinging from your hips, bring the belly back to the thighs. Let your head go, hands to the mat, backs of hands to the mat, or grab a hold of elbows. Shake, nod your head, rock your hips, sweep the arms. Bring yourself to center, take hands to your hips, press into your feet and lift yourself all the way up. Let's take palms together at the heart. Tadasana, inhale as you lift the arms up. Exhale as you fold from the hips, bring it back down into your forward fold. Inhale, take it halfway up to your flat back. Exhale as you plant your hands down to the mat and step yourself back to plank. Let's lower the knees down to the mat. Slowly lower yourself all the way down. Pubic bone, belly, torso, hug elbows in. Lift up through the heart for baby cobra. And release yourself down, tuck toes, press into the feet, into the hands, and glide the hips up and back to downward dog. Let's bend the knees and crouch it down, send the right leg up. Bring it forward, take right knee to right outer arm. Send the right leg up and back. Let's take that knee forward again, this time over towards the left arm. Send the right leg back, and then we bring that knee to chest, core plank, we'll step that right foot through to the right thumb. Stay up on ball of that left foot. Bend both knees. Hug your right hip back as you peel yourself up off of that front leg. Reach your arms up and then maybe straighten that back leg. Bring the palms together at the heart. And then we reach the left arm forward, begin to open that right arm out to the right side, unfurl the arm back, spin your heart to the right. Hold here or take right hand to the back of the left thigh and reach that left arm up. And then left arm comes forward again, right arm peels back, bring it back to center, arms reach up. Hands to the mat, step yourself back to plank. Drop your knees down, lower yourself all the way down to the belly. Press into fingers, toes, pubic bone, elbows hugging towards the rib cage. Lift your heart up, baby cobra. Maybe you press into the hands and lift the heart a little bit higher for your full cobra. And then release yourself down, tuck toes. Let's send the hips up and back. Bend the knees, crouch it down. We'll send left leg up, three-legged dog. Take it forward, left knee to left elbow. Send that left leg up and back. Bring it forward again, this time left knee to right arm. Send that left leg up and back. Let's take it forward towards the center, knee towards the center, and then step that left foot through to the left thumb, rolling up onto ball of right foot. Bend both knees, hug the left hip back as you lift up. Arms reach up, straighten the back leg, take palms together at the heart. And we reach that right arm forward, peel that left arm open, finding a little twist, and then stay here or take the left hand to back of right leg, right arm reaching up. And then again, right arm comes forward, left arm opens back. 
Take it back to center, hugging in through the legs, reach the arms up, hands come back to the mat, step it back into your plank. And now either lower knees down to the mat, come all the way down onto the belly and move into your cobra, or we'll take it into a chaturanga, low push up and then upward dog. Roll it forward on your toes, bend your elbows, lower yourself halfway down-ish, shoulders above elbows. Come on to tops of feet, thighs lifted. Pull the heart forward, root down into the fingers, upward dog. And then back in, down dog. Step or hop yourself up to the top of your mat, fold in. And then bring it halfway up to that flat back. Hold it back in, press into the feet, rise up. Palms together at your heart. Let's reach the arms up. Fold it in. Halfway up to that flat back. Plant your hands down to the mat. Step yourself back to plank. Find your vinyasa here, your flow. Find that up dog or cobra. And we'll meet back in our downward dog. Spin the knees, crouch it down, send the left leg up, three-legged dog. This time let's take it right to the center of the chest for core plank and step that left foot through. Staying up on ball of right foot, bend both knees, lift up, hug in through the inner legs, reach up through the arms. Let's take the palms together at the heart, spin your heart over towards the left, and then we'll tuck that right elbow outside that left knee, thigh, lift up your belly, spin your heart a little more to the left, press the palms together, Keep hands together or maybe open arms up. Fingers reaching away from each other. And the palms come back together. Let's take it back to center. Maybe bend that back knee as you come back through center. Reach the arms back up and straighten that back leg. Hands to the mat. Step it back to plank. Find your flow. We'll meet back again in our downward dog. Bend the knees, crouch it down, send the right leg up. Take it forward, core plank. Step right foot through. Stay up on ball of left foot. Bend the back knee, lift yourself up. Straighten the back leg, find that high lunge. Palms together at the heart. Bend a little deeper into that front knee. And then we spin the heart over to the right. And then tuck that left elbow outside of right knee thigh. Press your palms, lift up your belly, spin your heart to the right. Keep it here or open the arms up. And then palms come back together. Bring it back through center. Bend that back knee as you come through. Reach the arms up. High lunge, hands to the mat, step it back to plank. Find your flow. From your downward dog, step or hop it up to the top of your mat, fold it in, halfway up, flat back. Fold yourself in, press into the feet, rise all the way back up. Palms come back to the heart. Now let's bend the knees, sit back in chair, arms reach forward. Palms come together at the heart, and then spin your heart over to the right. Bring it back to center. Spin your heart over to the left. Bring it back to center. Now we'll tuck that left elbow outside that right knee thigh. Press the palms again, lift up through your belly. Drop the hips back, knees back. Spin your heart up. Maybe open the arms. Palms back together. Bring it to center. Sit it a little deeper. And then we'll tuck a right elbow outside, left knee thigh, lift up your belly, spin your heart, maybe open arms up, lower your bum back, palms come back together, take it back to center, fold yourself in, halfway lift to your flat back, and then plant your hands, step it back to plank, find your flow, and we'll meet in our downward dog. 
Pedal out your legs. Walk it out. Shorten up your down dog stance a little bit. Walk the feet in and then press down into the left hand. Reach underneath the body with that right hand and bring it over towards that left ankle. A little peek under that left armpit. And then bring that right hand back to the mat. And we'll switch it to the other side. Root down into the right finger pads. Lift up that left hand. Reach it underneath the body and over towards that right ankle. You press really strongly down through the right hand. Take a little peek under that right armpit. And then plant that left hand back. And then let's walk the hands back to meet the feet. Forward fold back to the mat. And then hands to the mat. Roll up on the balls of the feet. Lower your bum down. We'll come back into our yogi toe pose. Say palms together at the heart. Swing your heart to the right. Come back to center. Oops. <laughs> Spin your heart to the left. Bring it back to center. Now let's take the hands over towards the right side of your mat. Plant the hands. Right hand, left hand. And root down through the finger pads. Take your left thigh, press it into the back of the left upper outer arm. So hands spread, rolling up onto balls of the feet. We'll tuck that left knee thigh up onto the back of that left arm. Begin to cast your heart forward in between the hands. You either stay up on the balls of the feet. Maybe you could pick up one foot, maybe two. And then release one or two feet back down. Bring yourself back to center. Back to our yogi toe pose. And then let's take it over to the other side. So hands move over towards the left side of the mat, probably off of the mat. And tuck that left knee thigh up against the right upper outer arm. Hands spread wide, fingers spread wide, roll up onto balls of the feet. Cast the heart forward in between the arms. Maybe you roll up on one foot. Maybe you pick up both feet. Release the feet back down. Back into that yogi toe squat, palms together. And then release your hands down to the mat. Drop the knees down. Come back to sit on the heels. Interlace fingers. Roll your wrists around. Few little circles. Switch the direction. Shake out your hands. And then bring one hand to rest on your heart. One hand to rest on your belly. Close your eyes. Back to our intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with ourselves. Release your hands, find your way all the way down onto your belly. Make a little pillow with the hands and rest your forehead on your hands.
Take hands underneath the shoulders. Send yourself back into a child's pose. Again, your version, knees together or knees wide. And then bring yourself back up to sit on your heels. Just bring palms together at the heart. Thank you so very much for sharing this short, slow flow vinyasa practice with me today with love and gratitude. Namaste.